Hey buddy, it's John with Constructive Academy and today we're going to be looking at a platformer specifically with certain um, stealth abilities, uh, certain effects, uh, for instance like shaking the camera or particle effects and uh, dealing with gravity. So it's going to be kind of like a fully featured tech demo. In this part we actually have a lot of stuff. Uh, we actually have some switches that we have to turn on. We have some anti-gravity units, so you have to activate them. Then when you're within, you know, once you've activated it and you step within that field, you actually lose gravity. And then once you actually walk away from that, gravity returns back to normal. And then you actually have um, a, a little portal. And later on, in part two, we're going to be dealing with security cameras so where you are going to have to hide to get past them, else they'll start shooting at you, uh, which isn't that good. So let's get started. Let's uh, first actually just run the layout real quick to see what exactly is inside, and then we're going to go line per line um, dealing with all the code. Okay, so we have our character. At this point, he's not like animated fully as of yet um, and that will be in, in the next video right now we're just going to be dealing with the actual uh, um, effects and what's going on with the game so there's the first switch and it toggles this green effect uh, this is some anti-gravity basically generator wave and then if you jump inside it it turns on something and as soon as you, it's kind of like okay, so if you're not in in the green, uh, basically anti gravity effect, you jump normally, and once you're inside of it, it will um, basically make you jump higher. And then we have a jump through effect on this little platform, which is now visible. And then we're gonna jump, go over here walk around here and then we have a little uh, teleporter that teleports us back to the game. So what we can do right now is actually just double click on our character and set loop for our idle, idle animations so that he is actually animating. We don't have like any other animations hooked him up to him yet. And then, boom. and then we have to wait for that thing to go back down again. And there we go. Okay, so let's go through the code again. So we're going to need a global number. This, this will monitor the switches. So basically you have actually a bunch of switches in your uh, level and it could just reference this so if a switch equals one it's going to turn on something you, you know then you add two and if two equals something so that's one way how to do it if you don't want to be like super specific and be like you know switch for door one switch for door two you just have it reference a particular number on start allowed we're going to set the rate of the particles to zero so basically that's disabling it saying hey there's no particles uh, there's n um, and if there's no particles you can't actually get into that area or you know activate the floating mechanic um, is over switch one so that's actually the first one that you're going to see it's actually going to activate the particles so it's going to set the rate of particles at about 20 particles um, I guess per second so it's going to emit or create okay and if the character is overlapping uh, the particles we're going to set the gravity or platform gravity to 10 so that's actually decreasing it allowing us to jump higher else we're going to set the gravity to um, about 1500 which is normal gravity if it's over if the characters overlapping switch two then the uh, we're going to add one of the switches and set the switch animation to frame one so it's going to be basically going from the off to the um to the green little axis sprite 
Okay, if switch is equals two, remember we set it from zero to uh, two. We're going to have the opacity of the elevator, which is actually invisible. It's right here. And we're going to make that uh, set the opacity to 100, so it was set zero in the beginning, so it was actually invisible. And we're going to set a uh, sign active. This is actually a be behavior object. So uh, for the behavior for the elevator, we're going to have solid sign and jump through. The sign is going to basically set a predestined movement. So it's either going to go up, down, slide, slide, or triangle, or um, like a saw movement where it goes up, down, up, down. In this case, we're going to want it to go up and down. So, right, uh, so in the beginning, it was actually deactivated, and now we're going to activate it in the game. So when we were creating this, and we said, OK, I want this uh, effect, it's actually um, enabled and what you're going to have to do is find it in the properties and set disabled so in the beginning it's actually going to say hey enabled but we actually want it disabled so it's kind of like you have to turn it on to actually be able to use it okay same thing with the jump through and the door remember once uh, we touch that switch the door is unlocked so we're going to set the position to just above uh, the level so basically right there so we're gonna move it up um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a shake effect like the door like shook the entire level so it's something dramatic not anything really realistic and then I have a uh, from freesound.org a open door um, or you could use it as a closed door I use it as a way to open the door. So we have a sound effect, so I had to import it. Click right on sounds and then import sounds. Okay, and if the character is overlapping sprite 3, which is uh, should be named to uh, teleporter, we're going to reset the layout. Now on movement, what I did was on left arrow is down. We're going to set the sprite to be mirrored and if the right arrow is down, not mirrored. That's actually going to flip our character around so he faces the correct way. So that he's actually moving how he should be moving. The, way, the reason why he's getting stuck is that he has a, a collision box. It probably hasn't been like totally... Oh yeah, it's actually refined. Um, so that's actually everything right now. Uh, we can go over the behaviors of the character. So for the character, the behavior is going to be scroll to in platform. The, again, the elevator is going to be solid, sign, and um, jump through. A particle is, is just going to emit a basic um, 16 by 16 pixel and that's actually all about that's everything for now and then we're going to actually include uh, a couple cameras down below so it's just not the not really that easy to get to the um, teleporter and then we're going to work on level two which will include some enemies um, s some monsters and then more like dialogue for uh, your video game. So again, this is just a little includes everything tech demo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.